some other person that has come into the marriage. Therefore, the kind of understanding you have of the person, the person does not have. I pray today that even as we are learning how to handle the 12 parties in our marriage, that we learn to appreciate that anything coming to the marriage must be, you see, by the husband and wife equal. Dealing with people beside your wife, beside your husband, is the reason for the growing of third parties in your marriage. And once you come to an agreement that you will not deal with anybody in that manner, it will help protect each and every one of you from falling into temptations. Um, seriously. Any attempt by anyone to turn you against your husband with six so-called secrets that you cannot tell him, with so-called tales that you cannot tell him. Whenever people start doing that to you, they are just trying to destroy your marriage. They are sowing seeds of discord. They are trying to put the two of you asunder. And you should be bold enough to say no. If this thing you are telling me, you can't tell it in front of my husband, they don't tell me. If this information you are giving, you, you cannot give it in front of my husband, they don't tell me. You know, third parties who can help in the relationship, but mostly they help when they are known by both parties. And when they are dealt with by, by, both, by both parties, it doesn't become a situation where you seem to be sided with one side, one party. Once that happens, then his credibility is gone and his decisions will be based on emotions because he's a relative or because he has known this for a long time or because he cares about this more than the other. In fact, in conclusion, what am I saying? What I'm saying is that you and as the couple in that marriage are the foundation. Every other thing is bonus. Don't let somebody start from his marriage, from her marriage, determine your marriage. Don't let somebody's plans for his marriage or her marriage become your plans for your marriage. Don't let somebody's difficulties in this marriage become your difficulties. Stand together as one because there has never been a couple like you in the world before. You are doing new things new because the person is new, the time is new, you are new. And, and the, the things you do may look similar to others. But the two of you is new because there has never been the two of you before. And and just humble yourself and ask God for wisdom to handle the marriage because it's only God that can help you handle a marriage because He's the only one who instituted the marriage and knows how the marriage should be. So if you deal with third parties, let them know they are family. They are not part of the marriage, but they are part of your family. So you as a couple go to your family deal with your family anybody who tries to deal with you behind each other discuss the matter come on level playing field with with your spouse anybody who says something appropriate to you don't hide it and it will develop into something that you can't say it anymore let your spouse know about it let your spouse let, be always naked there should be no secret between your spouse be naked before your spouse both in flesh and in mind and stick closely and and sharply to your to your spouse, the spouse of your youth, and allow the people and their rumors to stay out. When they are dealing with family, they will family as a couple, not as a son, not as a daughter, or a son-in-law or daughter-in-law. This is how, when you are told something, you are told to keep it. Let the person know that you cannot keep this thing because your wife needs to know about it. Otherwise, it will affect your com conversation. Next time, the person will not bring another gossip to you again. Don't allow people to talk bad about your spouse before you whilst installing your virtues. What they are doing is making you see your spouse as something beside yourself instead of being one with him. Because if your spouse is bad, by all means, if you're one, then you are also bad. You know, don't let anybody put you asunder in words, in deeds, in suggestions, in any shape, form, anyhow, anyway. Always be ready to defend your union, no matter who is speaking. The blush, even as you handle your the third parties in your marriage with grace and finesse. God bless you for being a blessing. God bless you for being a blessing so, 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 so much. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you.
of it um, a lesson.